We had an exclusive interview earlier this morning on our flagship morning show with Professor Ben Ayade, who is the governor of Cross River State. And, uh, you know, it was a very interesting interview. You can check it out on our YouTube page. We went through a number of metrics for Cross River. First of all, the uh, state revenue uh, as of 2021, 22.9 billion naira. FAC allocations, uh, 73.07. So that means that Cross River States is wholly disproportionately dependent on FAC allocations because there's 23% from their internally generated revenue as opposed to 76% coming from FAC. So that's the full revenue profile. What else we got? A lot more uh, uh, interesting numbers coming out from uh, Cross River. I think debt. Uh, if you look at their debt figure, so there's Cross River in second place. Well, not really second place, alphabetically speaking. 159 billion, a jump of 23.4% to 197 billion. And that's domestic debt, right? So you can think of the revenue profile and the, um, well, I guess the struggle to be able to pay their way salaries, pensions, which the governor said he's paid. You got to watch that interview. Very, very, very uh, enlightening and entertaining interview this morning. So that's domestic debt. Now, foreign debt um, for Cross River State, I mean, it's grown about 45%, 279 million as of 2021. And that's, if you've got this amount of foreign debt on your balance sheet, it means that you are exposed to exchange rate volatility, meaning that when it's time to pay back uh, these loans, you're paying them back in dollars, your income is in Naira. So that's pretty difficult. All right. so. Uh, we've also got, uh, in addition to the debt, uh, some other figures coming out. Four trillion naira, as far as their GDP is concerned. Capital importation about twenty-five million dollars between twenty nineteen and twenty twenty-one, which is decent. Uh, now, per capita health spend, how much is, uh, according to the uh, figures from budget, how much is um, Cross River State spending on its citizens? Now, eight hundred and twenty-nine naira per capita. That's it's kind of low, it's kind of low. Per capita education, 3,359. And that's higher than a few other states, but then again, how, how much is that when you break it down in terms of getting medicine, uh, visits, and so on and so forth, how much is that going to, to get you? So that's part of their metrics. And then the business climate, and this is where things get uh, a little tricky for, for, for Cross River State. Cross River State fell from 27th um, to 33rd out of 36 states uh, for the, as far as PEBEC is concerned, for ease of doing business. PEBEC is the Presidential Enabling Business Environment Council, and this was a 2023 survey that they did. So again, it's a survey of businesses in the area. They asked them, what is it like to do business here and there? And well, 33rd place, so that's, that's, that has to improve. And then, and then, you know, it has to be said, the unemployment figures in Cross River State, Ha, it's, uh, this is one of the highest figures. Again, this is, a, now, Ms. Professor Ben Ayade was disputing these figures when he spoke to the morning show this morning. Again, <laughs> you gotta watch that interview. Uh, but these figures are coming from PEBEC, and they're coming from the Bureau of Statistics, the MBS. So, 53.65%, um, that's five out of every 10 people in Cross River's labor force that is unemployed. You add that to underemployment, people who have jobs but are overqualified for them, and you're, 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 you're nearing 70%. I mean, that's 53.65 uh, plus uh, 17. I mean, that's, that's galloping uh, there already. So, so it's pretty high. And so the governor did say that, well, you know, the numbers are better. He has, of course, the garment uh, factory project, then the frozen chicken uh, factory as well. They did say that they were, those are going to create jobs. But uh, when you look at these numbers, um, they are pretty tough. And so it does, you know, speak a lot to exactly how well each of these governors who have been, you know, ruling uh, their different uh, states uh, have been doing. Now, I think we've got a clip from that. Uh, oh, actually, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're going to have still, still more data coming from this. Now, this is very, very important because we just talked about inflation and the special advisor to the president on Media Garbashil saying that inflation in Nigeria is as a result of COVID. Now, the Bureau of Statistics breaks down its inflation data by state. So this is also very, very important because we just talked about the frozen chicken uh, factory that uh, Cross River State put forward. Now, 
uh, you know, you know, again, the numbers speak for themselves. The, go the governor was disputing them, but these are numbers from the Bureau of Statistics. And these are the latest inflation numbers coming out of Cross River State. So headline inflation in Cross River State, 21.43. At the national level, it's 22.22%. You saw those numbers when we were talking to Chika and Bono. Even more important, food inflation in Cross River states on a year-on-year -year, uh, basis is higher than it is at the national level, because the national level is about 24.6 or so. So you've got food inflation at 25.14%. And here's what's even more troubling. Here's what's even more troubling. On a month-on-month -month basis, because analysts like to use month-on-month -month inflation versus year-on-year, because -year, month-on-month is closer to track. This is from the Bureau of Statistics. If you look at this here, the highest rise in month-on-month -month inflation in April, look who's number one. It's Cross River States, 4.65%. Your month-on-month -month inflation for Nigeria at the national level is about 1.93, 1.91. So that's way higher. In second place, Bielsa. And funny enough, we also had Governor Duyo Dire in an exclusive interview right here on Arise News. We got all the exclusives. So we also spoke to the governor of Bielsa State as well. They're in second place at 3.61. And then Ekiti State in the Southwest, 3.49. And then if you look at the slowest rise in inflation on the right-hand side of your screen, Jigawa states, look at Jigawa, I mean, that's 0.14%. This is what states need to be aiming for, to have that kind of slow rise. Again, you're looking at the tracking of the rising goods and services, their prices on a month-on-month -month basis. And then Katsina State, in fact, funny enough, interesting enough, and look at this parallel. Uh, as far as PEBEX ranking of ease of doing business, I think Jigawa is number one or number two or top three. So very interesting to have one of the best as far as the rankings are concerned and the surveys. Uh, Jigawa tops for ease of doing business, and they've also got one of the slowest rise in inflation, right? Uh, but then there are other metrics you've got to look at. Uh, Katsina State, second place, 0.44. Oshun State Southwest, 0.62. So, you know, again, uh, oh yeah, and then here's a quote from the governor when he, the, he opened up his uh, 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 chicken factory, saying that by the close of the second quarter, this was in December 2021, he said by next year, 2022, Nigeria will be a net exporter of frozen chicken, and that is our ambition. Now, we, we didn't quite get there. And he also said, uh, once we can achieve that, we would have it helped in strengthening the Naira, and that is how we will gradually begin to stabilize uh, this country. But hey, he, again, he had a great interview on the flagship morning show. Go to our YouTube page. Are you following us on uh, Instagram at Arise News Official, Twitter? at Arise TV, YouTube, search for Arise News and watch that great interview with Professor uh, Ben Ayade, Governor of uh, Cross River State.